A reading from Isaiah 66, The Judgment and Hope. This is what the Lord says, Heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things, and so they came into being, declares the Lord. These are the ones I look on with favor, those who are humble and contrite in spirit, and who tremble at my word. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like the one who kills a person, and whoever offers a lamb is like the one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like the one who presents pig's blood, and whoever burns memorial incense is like the one worship worships an idol. They have chosen their own way, and they have delighted in their abominations, so I also will choose harsh treatment for them, and I will bring on them what they dread. For when I called, no one answered, and when I spoke, no one listened. They did evil in my sight and chose what displeased me. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your own people who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, Let the Lord be glorified, that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. Hear the uproar in the, from the city. Hear that noise from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord repaying his enemies all they deserve. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers the son. Who has heard of such things? Who has ever seen things like this? Can a country be born in a day or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner in Zion is in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her. All you who love her, rejoice greatly with her. All you who mourn over her, for you will be nursed and be satisfied and comforted at her breast. And you will drink deeply and delight in her overflowing abundance. For this is what the Lord said, I will extend peace to her like a river and the wealth of the nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandled on her knees as a mother comforts her child. So I will comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. When you see this, your heart will rejoice, and you will flourish like grass. The hand of the Lord will be made known to his servants, but his fury will be shown to his foes. See, the Lord is coming with fire, and with his chariots are like a whirlwind. He will bring down his anger with fury, and his rebuke with flames of fire. For with fire and with sword the Lord will execute judgment on all people, and many will be those slain by the Lord. Those who consecrate and purify themselves to go into the gardens following one who is among those who eat the flesh of pigs, rats, and other unclean things. They will meet their end all together with the one they foul, declares the Lord, and die because of what they have planned and done. I am about to come and gather the people of all the nations and languages, and they will come and see my glory. I will set a sign among them, and I will send some of those who survived to the nations of Tarshish, to Libyans, to Lydians, famous as the archers to Tubal and Greece, and to the gr distant islands that have heard of my fame or, or seen my glory. They will proclaim my glory among the nations, and they will bring all the people from all the nations to my holy mountain in Jerusalem as an offering to the Lord on horses and in chariots and in wagons and on mules and camels, says the Lord. They will bring them as the Israelites bring their, their grain offerings to the temple of the Lord in ceremonially clean vases. And I will select some of them also to be priests and Levites, says the Lord. As the new heavens and the new earth that I make will endure before me, declares the Lord. So will your name and descendants endure from one moon to another and from one Sabbath to another. All mankind will come down and bow before me, says the Lord. And they will go out and look on the dead bodies of those who rebelled against me. The worms that eat them will, will not die. And the fire that burns them will not be quenched, and they will be loath loathsome to all mankind.
And this is a reading from Isaiah 66, God's Wrath and Judgment.